My name is Chris Nelson. I'm the Farm to School Program Manager at Food Connects. And I am Sheila Humphreys, and I'm the Farm to School Coach at Food Connects. So we're here this morning um, at the Oak Grove School Garden behind us, and we're going to talk a bit about um, Farm to School highlights from this past year, and then some of the things that we're looking forward to in the coming year. Great, so let's get started. So one standout moment for me this year has been working with Oak Grove School on their new school garden. And they had some really big challenges. There was some contamination found in the soil where their old, old garden was located next to the school and had to negotiate a lot of state regulations and get grant funding to rebuild their new garden out here um, at the edge of the playground where the soil was safer to grow. Super proud to be here today and showcasing this garden. So Chris, how about you? What was one of your standout moments from this past school year? Uh, I think one of the best standout moments for me was packing and delivering 1,308 sprout kits. Um, they went to kids in uh, 29 different schools and early childhood ed centers and each child receives a tray, soil, sunflower sprouts, and pea shoots. And then we do this every March and they get to take care of their own tray and watch the sprouts grow. And then once they've sprouted, they get to munch on them. So we do this every year and it's really exciting every year when we do this. We really want to try to uh, respond to school needs. And, um, and so what I think is really important is that we're able to pivot and adapt to the changing schools and environments and what their needs are. Um, and so this year in particular, one of the things that we're doing is we're um, going to be going into the classrooms more, um, supporting teachers with different kinds of farm to school lessons, and we're also going to be offering more professional development around farm to school activities for schools. So one of the biggest challenges that I face as a coach is when there's staff turnover in schools and how to keep that momentum going and how to just keep traction on their goals. And Food Connects has been working in schools actively since 2008. And so we often hold an institutional memory of the school, what's happened in the past years ago with grants, with different projects. So really being able to hold that institutional memory even when there's staff changes and keep that team cohesive. That's one of my goals always. loved our regional gathering that happened in May. Um, it was really an opportunity for teachers, uh, school nutrition professionals, board members, garden coordinators, um, various community members, um, all to come together and really sort of share stories and resources around farm to school. And it was just so, my, my takeaway really on that was that this was great and I, I definitely want to do it again. So that was really wonderful. Yeah, absolutely. I loved that gathering and it was such a great gathering because we had three different workshops for our participants and we also highlighted the independent meal program at Bellows Falls Union High School um, led by Harley Sterling. It was so great to just showcase that wonderful program there. And these regional gatherings used to happen once or twice a year, every year before the pandemic. And I'm so glad that we were able to resume those gatherings this year. I think they really build a sense of community throughout Wyndham County. So Harvest of the Month, Vermont Harvest of the Month isn't new, um, but this year we're really expanding our educational resources that we're gonna be providing to teachers and paraprofessionals and garden coordinators um, so that there's just a lot more avenues for them to be incorporating it into their teaching. And then um, this year for the first time, we've all, uh, just hired a Harvest of the Month program manager um, who's gonna be leading that effort. So we're just really excited about that. Great. And I'm excited that we're bringing a Harvest of the Month really to the forefront and that building the capacity within Food Connects through that program manager because we have two brand new garden coordinators this year, one at Academy School and one here at Oak Grove School. And 
Harvest of the Month is such a great entry level place for new educators to start with Harvest of the Month um, because those lessons are already written and easy to follow and we can really support these two new garden coordinators as they get their feet under them. I am super excited about the fact that this year we have two district level farm school teams and this just this past June uh, both teams were up at Shelburne Farms at the Northeast Farm School Institute for a three-day planning retreat. Yeah, it was so great to be up there with those teams. We had a team from Wyndham Southeast Supervisory Union and also a team from West River Educational District. And both teams did incredible work at the Institute. They are both working on district-wide goals around increasing local food purchasing for their meal programs and also around having more coordinated farm to school education from pre-K through 12th grade. And I am just so excited to work with these teams throughout the year and to see the progress that they make on these two goals that are really in line with Food Connect's work around transforming our regional food system. So we just want to say a special thanks to the Oak Grove School community and particularly Principal Mary Kaufman and the new garden coordinator Katrina Moore for allowing us to use this beautiful school garden to film these little shorts for you today. And I am going to give a big shout out to the building crew here that is giving, uh, putting a lot of attention to um, getting the school building ready for the school year and providing us with free background noise for this video.